What's up Foundation Nation? Today we are doing a review of the Discraft Force. This is one of their fastest, most overstable distance drivers. Um, I got three here to throw today. This one is a brand new ESP. Uh, this one is a big Z that is also in brand new condition. And then this one uh, with the Huck Lab stamp, this is an ESP that uh, has a, a pretty good amount of wear to it, uh, just enough that it, I would say it's an appropriately seasoned force. So we're gonna kind of be able to compare them. Uh, we'll start with the backhand, maybe just slight hyzer, and we should see a pretty overstable flight. We'll start with the new one. Yeah, as you can see, plenty of fade there. Uh, not really any give at all. Nice and fast and overstable. This one is the Big Z. This one's a little bit flatter, brand new, but it might, because of it's a little bit flatter, it might have a little more give to it, we'll see. Yeah, that one flew pretty much identical to the ESP. Very overstable, very quick, definitely reliable disc. Uh, this one has a decent bit of wear to it, so we should see a little bit of flip up in this one is what I'm expecting. It does have a lot of dome to it though, so you know these things don't lose stability quickly. It'll still have some fade, I'm sure. Oh, not at all. Oh my <laughs> gosh. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> Something that I have learned with forces because I've I've seen Brody throw them and look for them a lot is like you can occasionally find really overstable ones. That one right there is very overstable and that has wear on it and that thing is crazy stable still. So we'll have to keep that in mind as we continue with this review, but all three of those looking very nice and stable. The force is not a disc that I've had some in my bag for like a year at a time and it does take a very long time to get them to be Heiser flip discs. I was thinking that one might be one, not the case. Very overstable. All right, the Anheuser specialist has arrived. <laughs> We're gonna be throwing the forces on what is gonna be an attempt at Annie, but whatever happens out of my hand, you'll learn something by it. That was a good looking. Oh. oh. It held. It was, it, it was definitely low, but the forces I've, I've never bagged a force because I've never found one that was usable for me. They were all way too stable for what I was looking for. I ba Actually, I take that back. I bagged one force as my, like, no matter what headwind I face, it's not going to budge disc. So that's kind of what I was expecting with that throw. We'll see what the big Z one does. Also held. Okay, the, this, these two runs of forces are way less stable Not this one. than I remember. <laughs> this is probably the force I remember. <laughs> yeah, that's the force I remember. That's... that's the force I remember because I felt like I hit all three of those pretty similarly. It's and that's slow too. That's what I remember the force doing is just like laughing at me, getting to the ground, hyzering, and then I'd watch pros throw it and I'd be like, what the frick? Like, how are they getting that thing to flip up? It makes sense. Um, so. Seems that the run of forces definitely varies in stability, where some you can get a little turn out of, nice distance disc, and some are gonna be like, if it's not a headwind, don't throw it. So I think we've established at this point the force, the, this ESP one and the Big Z one fly about the same. So I'm gonna throw this one and the crazy overstable one forehand because this is one of the main uses for this disc, so. Little nose up, but as you can see, threw it flat, nice reliable fade. About what you'd expect. I'm gonna try and give this one some ante and just show you, I guess this is a good disc to just show you the potential of what a force can be if you find the right ones. That slipped out of my hand. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a little muddy, so that slipped a little bit, but that got the point across. Um, I, think, I think that kind of sums up the force and the way I remember it at least is, most, like I would say 90% of the forces that you'll buy, maybe probably 95%, maybe even higher than that, are like the first ESP one that we threw and the big Z one, where they're not super domey, um, they fly very overstable, um, but they have a little bit of glide to them, they're very much usable even if you don't have crazy arm speed. That other one that we found, those are usually the more super domey forces, um, they're kind of rare, you don't really see them a lot. Certain guys like Brody and the guys that have huge arms kind of try and hunt those ones down. Um, but that's kind of an anomaly. But 
there are forces you can find that can be that stable, but typically you're gonna see the ones that we threw in the first two shots. Those are the ones that we, that you'll find in our store right now at foundationdisc.com. Um, that's, that's the more common run. Um, but I, I think the force is a great disc. I think it's a little underused because a lot of people go to the Discraft lineup these days and they kind of they kind of skip over it. You know, people throw the Zeus's and the Hades, um, the Nukes even, and a lot of people don't really go to that four slot even though really all of the pros that play for Discraft will mess around with the force to some extent just because it really is one of the only discs that sits in that overstable distance driver slot for now. I know they have some other things in the work. Um, but so I, it's one that I've always liked. I think it's very comfortable. If you throw a disc like the Destroyer, I think that's really the best comparison disc for a force. They're not exactly the same, but they fly similar. If you throw a Destroyer, the force has a bit of a different feel. I think on the forehand, for me, I've always liked the force. I think it feels a little bit more comfortable. So if you're looking to change that up, that'd be a reason to check out the force. But it's a fantastic disc, one that I've bagged. Um, for years, ever since I've been started throwing Discraft, I've, I've thrown forces and I've had them from brand new, nice and overstable to ones that have been seasoned for a long time and I can get hyzer flips or longer glidier forehands out of. So it is a disc that has really good longevity, which I think is always good because if you're gonna invest in a disc, might as well buy one that's gonna be useful throughout its um, durability process, you know, as time goes on. So. If you want to check out the force, go to foundationdisc.com. I can almost guarantee you it won't be like that crazy overstable one that we threw, hopefully, <laughs> unless that's what you're looking for, and then you might have to look a little harder. But go to foundationdisc.com, pick one up if you want to try one. We'll see you in the next one.